You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion. All right, so I got my daily harvest in the mail. So I'm going to open it up and show you what I got. Oh, it's like a little cooler. So there's all my food. Got a couple of the harvest bowls. Chickpea, kale, garlic. That one looks yummy. Oh, so this is the um, zucchini minestrone stew. Got chocolate and almond chai bowl. I do like chai pudding, so I did get a couple of those, I think. Um, mulberry dragon fruit oat bowl. Let's see. Sweet potato wild rice hash. Um, the hazelnut chocolate bites, which I make some of those. So we'll have to see how theirs are compared to mine. This is the mint chocolate chip ice cream, vegan. All this stuff is vegan, natural, um, plant-based. Uh, cauliflower rice and pesto, which I love cauliflower rice. And then I got a couple other smoothies, a chocolate and blueberry and mango papaya. And I think that is it. I just got nine items. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, nine items in here this time. And as I try them, I will get on here and let you guys know what I think of each one. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and try the ice cream, which these are the ingredients. And it's called dark melty cocoa, cocoa and cocoa chip scoops mint. So we will see. I just took a little bit out and put it in a little cup, but it comes like this. So I just took a little bit out and I'm kind of letting it um, sit at room temperature for a minute. Okay, so I am taking a bite. Mm. I actually already did take a bite, but I am trying the ice cream. And yeah, it's different. Um, not bad though. Like I've been trying to cut dairy out. So it's funny. This is dairy free, of course. Because it's all vegan. But I, I really like it. And I'm not particular. I like weird things though. Because I have seen reviews and people not like this. And I can see that it is definitely a different taste. Mm. But for me, I'm used to different tastes. So... I think it's really good. And I've been really trying to cut dairy out because I really think I have an issue with dairy. So this is awesome. Like I can't wait to try all the other um, meals that don't have dairy. And I've really been trying to even cut down cheese and I mean all that. So not just milk, but dairy stuff. But with the smoothies, I'll, I'll be using the um, oat milk is what I bought. So we'll see how that tastes and I'll be back. Okay, it's early in the morning and I am getting ready to go to work, but I wanted to try this out on my way. This is the mulberry and dragon fruit oat bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and make it and take it with me and I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so I'll just have to say I didn't love this. It did lack some flavor, was a little tart, um, but again, healthy. But I really feel like um, for overnight oats, I can make something similar um, for much cheaper. All right, I'm still at work and I am getting ready to have my lunch. So I picked the cauliflower rice and pesto bowl. And this is what it looks like before I cook it. And of course, um, has a nutritional value over here and how to cook it on the other side. So it says heat for four to five minutes. Add a one to two tablespoons of water or broth. I only have water because I'm at work. So I'll use that, keep it in this bowl. All right, so this is what it looks like after it's cooked. And you can see all the good food in there. You can see the tomatoes, the kale. Um, it is cauliflower rice. I've taken a couple. I've taken a couple bites, and I really like this one. Um, it is something that I would eat at home normally. I mean, I make cauliflower rice all the time, so I really like this one, and it's very convenient to take to work. 
So we will be back tomorrow and see what I eat. Okay. So we are here because my husband right here, this handsome guy, is going to try a smoothie for me. So we're gonna try the mango papaya. And there is the ingredients list. So I'm gonna blend this up for him and he's gonna try it for us. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. So here is what it looks like, frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my single serving, oh, maybe, the single serving cup so I can blend it. And you can see the macadamia nuts, the papaya, the pineapple. Looks really good, it smells good. I use this almond milk, or actually it's oat milk. And I poured it in my cup and I'm just gonna add that in. And hopefully this fits, this is a lot for this one little container. Yeah, that's pretty full. So we'll see how it blends. Thick. <laughs> Probably because I need more milk, but we're gonna go ahead and pour it in this cup. And the reviews I've seen online, it was a little thick, but look at that smoothie. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and. All right, here he is. He's got his mango papaya smoothie, and he's gonna go ahead and taste it right now and let us know what he thinks. A little thick <laughs> so you might need to really get a good taste what do you think is it good um what do you think honestly so i love it i'm a big fan of smoothies um immediately you taste the papaya um in my in my opinion the papaya is really strong but then you definitely taste the mango as well the nuts come through so um Pretty well balanced. You can tell there's some chunks in there, but it definitely tastes pretty natural. <laughs> so yeah, so it's not super sweet. No, like and it's pretty convenient, added. and it's a lot. Like this is that's a good amount. I mean, that would be that like, should fill you up. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if that's not breakfast, that's you know a lunch or at least a lunch. Getting ready to make lunch, and I am going to make the one of the harvest bowls. It is the soup: tomato, zucchini, minestrone. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm this up and then I'll show it to you. So this is what it looks like um, in the bowl with before I um, cook it. So it looks really good. Right, so it says to add a cup of water or unsalted broth before I cook it and then do it for four to six minutes, stirring halfway in between. So I'm gonna do that. Right, everyone, I am gonna go ahead and try that soup again. It is the tomato zucchini and minestrone. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see it a little bit better. Let me see here. I mean, you can see the whole foods in there. So I am going to taste this and it's hot. So you can definitely, it looks like there are little potatoes in there, but that is zucchini. And <laughs> I was trying out a new lipstick today, so sorry about the hot pink. My kids keep looking at me funny, asking me why I have hot pink lipstick on. Um, and it's coming off a little bit because it's a long wear one. We'll see how it does with soup. Okay, here we go. Now you can see too, you got chickpeas, zucchini, kale. I mean, I don't know if you can get much healthier than this, so I'm gonna try a bite. One thing I have learned is that a lot of these meals or some of the meals i'm used to high sodium food and these are not these are just like whole foods so you may be able to taste a difference if you're not used to that mm. Mm. again definitely whole foods you can definitely taste all of it um again it is not high sodium that I am used to. My husband says I eat too much salt. You can see that on my lipstick, the inside of it's coming off. Yeah, I look like, I look funny. Um, 
anyway, so really the only, it says zucchini, tomatoes, chickpea, kale, black garlic, and basil. I mean, there is not much in here. I might have to add a little bit of salt. So I'm trying not to because I'm really trying to lose some weight and get healthy. Um, but I do realize now how much sodium I actually do consume. Mm. Mm. I will say I like them and they're convenient, but this wouldn't be difficult for me to make. So you really are paying for convenience here. <laughs> I will be back later because I think tonight I'm going to make that other smoothie for me and my husband to try. So I will be back with that one and let you know how that one is. All right, I am getting ready to warm up this sweet potato wild rice hash for lunch today. So I'll be back and show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when I warm it up. And it looks really good. I can't wait to try this one. So I did think this one was really, really good. Probably one of my favorites for the texture. Um, the long grain rice was a really good touch. Um, again, I wanted to add salt because I obviously eat way too much salt. Um, I did not add any. I pushed through when I ate it and I definitely would try this one again. I may add a, just a tad salt um, the next time I try it just to see if I like it any better. But the flavors are good. I am just used to way too much sodium, but I definitely would try it again. I'm gonna go ahead and for breakfast this morning do the banana chai almond cocoa seed chai bowl. All right, so this is what it looks like before I make it. Kinda just frozen pieces of that. Definitely looks like a chocolatey, you can see the chai seeds in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave, fill it up with water and then put it in the microwave and let's see how it is. Okay, it looks like I'm going to put water and soak it in the fridge overnight because that is how you make the chai seed pudding. So it says at least six hours. So I may have this later this evening instead. I'll be back and let you know how it tastes. All right, while the chai seed is, the pudding is in the refrigerator for later, I'm gonna go ahead and do this chocolate and blueberry smoothie for breakfast instead. And this is what it looks like in here. You can see the frozen bananas and I don't know if that's dates, kale, all kinds of stuff. So I don't really see the blueberries right now, but I will blend this up and let you know. All right, I got it in there. And we're gonna blend this up. All right, here we go. We'll put the power on. Oh, single serving. Okay, this is the shake. Me and my husband both tried it. It is very chocolatey, and at first that took me um, by surprise a little bit, um, but I actually really, really like this. It's kind of one on the sweeter side though. So if you're not a sweet um, a smoothie drinker, then this might not be the one for you, but I do like it. It was really, 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 really good. And I'll list the ingredients um, next to this when I'm doing the video. I will list all the good ingredients that are in here. Okay, so I wish I could tell you how this one really tasted. I did put it in the fridge. I never got a chance to eat it, and I came down with COVID and was sick for a week, and by the time I was even wanting to try anything, this was kind of just gross in the fridge. Um, so I did not get to really try this one, but I'll tell you, I make chai seed puddings, and I make rolled oats, and I really don't think that those things are worth the money here, but I do like the smoothies, and I really like um the meals that i've tried so i would probably get more of those but i probably would stay away from the chai puddings and the oats anyways that is all for this video guys and i'm going to order some more and try some more and i will let you know when that happens